Sea level rise is a major issue for coastal communities. Antarctica, a continent larger than the U.S. and Mexico combined, is covered by an average two kilometers thick ice sheet that if completely melted could contribute up to 60 meters of sea level rise. Ice shelves are extensions of the ice sheet that float atop the surrounding water and play a role in the thinning of Antarctica's ice sheets. Scientists need to understand the precise mechanisms of ice sheet thinning and its resultant sea level rise in order to create comprehensive global climate models. Using the power of supercomputers, we can enable scientists to model these highly complex systems with numerous variables like never before, increasing our understanding of our relationship with Earth's climate. Conditions under the ice shelves are not well understood and will change with warming ocean currents. Visualizations of water properties and currents within this complex coupled climate model help scientists understand the process of melting below ice shelves. E3SM models are based on the physical laws of conservation of mass, momentum, and heat. Ocean dynamics are controlled by large-scale forces such as pressure gradients, the Coriolis force, and gravity. Currents are driven by differences in density due to the temperature and the salinity of the water. Oceanographers classify specific ranges of temperature and salinity into numerous categories of water masses. Tracking these masses helps them to study the impacts of changing ocean currents and their effect on Antarctic ice sheet melt rates. Showing these categories of water masses concurrently is difficult for traditional visualization methods. Opaque boundary surfaces obscure one another, while translucent methods, both surface and volumetric, result in confusing color combinations. Here we sample the water masses to produce a set of well-distributed points in each water mass, then render these as small spheres. This visualization shows the movement of three water masses through time, clearly, and without ambiguous color mixing. One powerful water mass is circumpolar deep water. Relatively warm and salty, it circulates around Antarctica, just off the continental shelf. As it mixes with water masses closer to the ice shelf, currents push the water beneath the shelf, where it melts the ice above. Trenches, inlets, and islands increase the likelihood of such occurrences. The Filchnerani ice shelf overlays many of these features, which direct ocean currents through their cavities, melting the ice. Here we can see the currents circulating off the coast, exchanging heat and salinity from further offshore. Because these currents push water masses beneath the ice, they are difficult to track. Scientists must rely on models to understand the complex dynamics at play as real-world observations only come through robotic submersibles or probes drilled through the ice. Using three-dimensional visualizations, scientists can investigate these hidden motions, such as powerful ocean eddies that mix water masses below the shelves. When ocean water flows away from Antarctica, it is substantially altered from its interactions with the continent. These altered properties influence the density and current patterns of water far into the southern ocean. Further study is needed to model the combined ocean and ice shelf system together in its full complexity and include these coupled processes in full Earth system models. We explore the sensitivity of Antarctic ice sheet changes to idealized increases in ice shelf melting using MOLLE, the Impasse Albany land ice model. Simulations conducted as part of the Linear Antarctic Response to Basal Melting Model Intercomparison Project, or LARMIP, explore how warmer ocean waters flowing into the cavity beneath the Filchnerani ice shelf impact Antarctic ice sheet evolution. An extreme scenario is explored with the Antarctic Buttressing Model Intercomparison Project, or ABUMIP, which simulates Antarctica's response to the instantaneous removal of all ice shelves. This is an upper bound on Antarctica's possible response to ocean ice interactions. Visualizations from these two simulations demonstrate the importance of Antarctica's floating ice shelves at limiting the flux of ice into the surrounding oceans. Ice shelf thinning reduces the ice shelf's ability to restrain the flow of ice farther upstream, increasing the ice sheet's inland rates of flow. Visualization of 200 simulated years from the climatologically unrealistic Abumip simulation show this. Notice, as the floating ice is removed and no longer acts as a barrier or buttress to the upstream ice, the speed of the glacial front dramatically increases, representing an increase in the flux of ice from the ice sheet into the ocean. Abumip represents an extreme upper bound on the impact of ocean ice interactions on Antarctic evolution. 
A unique aspect of computer models and the simulations enabled by the supercomputers is the ability to explore physically implausible but informative end member scenarios like this. Increased rates of flow inland increase the rate of ice sheet thinning. Here we can see a visualization from the LARMIP scenario with aggressive melting below the Filchner Rani ice shelf. This time series spanning 200 years of simulated melting of the shelf shows increased rates of inland flow far upstream from the melting occurring beneath the shelf. If more ice moves than can be replenished by precipitation, the ice sheets thin. In turn, global sea level will rise in proportion to the amount of the ice sheet thinning. We can see in the plot, reporting millions of cubic kilometers of Antarctic grounded ice, that the otherwise stable interior ice is affected by thinning of this single shelf. The plot also shows the thinning of Abumip for comparison. For much of Antarctica, increased thinning triggers further flow acceleration and further thinning. These visualizations show the upper and lower elevation of the ice at the cross-section along the lines marked A and B. Where the lines meet at zero elevation, there is no ice. You can see the filchner rani catchment on the left side of the plot has lost upstream grounded ice elevation for Abumip in red and Larmip in green. Antarctica's ice sheets store many tens of meters of sea level equivalent. While we do not think the majority of the Antarctic ice sheet is vulnerable to mass loss, even under more aggressive climate change scenarios, there is so much ice that even the loss of a small fraction would have a catastrophic impact on low-lying coastal regions around the globe. Thinning of the ice sheets translates directly to increased rates of sea level rise. When ice flows into the ocean and is not replaced with precipitation, the sea level rises. We have looked at only one of the many possible contributors to sea level rise on our path to understanding how to accurately couple ocean and land ice models. 10% of the world's population lives less than 10 meters above sea level. Even minor increases in sea level can have devastating human and financial impacts. Using supercomputers, we can validate and expand our understanding of the cryosphere-ocean interactions and their ultimate impact on society and other Earth systems.